Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Atola USB-C to USB-3 hub. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this plugs into a USB type C port on your computer, and then it has four USB-3 ports on it. So there's a manual. Here's the hub itself. Let me get it out. So this is made of aluminum. So it has a nice finish on it, the USB-C there, and the USB 3 ports. So there's four of them. And here's the manual. So this works on laptops, the iPad, or smartphones that have USB C on it. So this works with USB on the go. It said it's not recommended for high power consuming devices. So you don't want to plug in, you don't want to use this like for charging or like it says here, uh, running a fan. So this is bus powered, it doesn't have external power. So that's good for portability, it makes it a lot smaller. It's not as good if you want to like say charge things or run higher power devices. If you have those needs, you probably want to get a powered hub. But if you don't need a powered hub, this is the best way to go because it takes up less room and it's easier to deal with. So I'll be plugging this into my Mac mini with the M1 processor. And this is a very nice machine, but one thing it is missing is a lot of ports. So it has two USB 3.0 ports on it. So we can plug this in here and we added four more ports just like that. So I have some devices I'm going to test out in here. So the first thing I'm going to plug into this is an NVMe SSD, and this is in an enclosure with a USB 3.0 interface. So I have a speed test here. I'm going to select the drive and I'll run this test. So here we're getting around 312 megabytes per second write and we're getting 293 megabytes per second read. So this is plugged into the Mac Mini with the M1 processor, and for some reason I get slow USB 3.0 performance on this, even when I'm plugged into it. So this is the same performance I would get if I plugged the hard drive into the USB 3.0 drive on the computer, but the hub is not slowing this down. Next I have an old flash drive, and this is a USB 2.0 flash drive, and this is 512 megabytes, so this is pretty small. I'm going to plug this in and I'll rerun the speed test to see if plugging this in on the same hub slows down our NVMe drive. So we're getting around 330 megabytes per second write speed. So that's not slowed down at all. And we're getting 295 read. So that looks good. Now I'm going to plug in a keyboard dongle. This is for a wireless keyboard. And I think that supports USB 2.0. Speed looks the same there. The read speed looks dropped a little bit, but not a big drop. Lastly, I'm going to plug in a webcam, and I think that's USB 2.0 also. So there's the webcam with everything plugged in. I'll go back to my speed test, and we'll see how that affects it. We still have good write speeds and the read speeds. So what I'm trying to determine here is if plugging multiple things into this will slow it down significantly. Now, if you have two hard drives on it and you're reading and writing to both at the same time, that could slow it down, but I don't want to slow down my fast hard drive by plugging in a keyboard or some other accessory, and that doesn't appear to be the case. So I think this is a great solution if you need to add more USB 3.0 ports to your computer. You can plug keyboards, mice, printers, your phone or tablet. There's many devices you can plug in here. You can even use this as a sort of dock. Now you don't need a dock on one of these desktop computers, but a lot of people will be using this with a laptop. So you could plug a keyboard, mouse, printer, and hard drive in here, and then plug it into the side of your computer at the office. And then when you leave for the day, you could unmount your hard drive and then just unplug this whole thing and it will take off all of those accessories. Then when you get to the office the next day, you plug it in and it hooks up your mouse, keyboard, hard drive, and printer automatically. So I know you can buy specialized docks for some computers, but they can be very expensive. This is a cheap alternative and it works great. So that's the Atola USB-C to USB 3.0 four port hub. That's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.